Okay, in this video we're going to multiply both sides by a number in order to solve the equation. Okay, so write the first one down. X over 2 equals 5. X over 2 equals 5. Okay, so we'll go over this one together. We've got to get X all by itself. So what I want to get is X equals something. Okay, we agree with that. Positive X equals something, right? To get the x on its own, I have to undo dividing by 2. At the moment, x is being divided by 2, and I've got to undo that. Find the inverse operation to dividing. So what's the, the opposite of dividing? The inverse operation, the opposite of, divi of dividing is multiplying. Okay. So if I multiply by 2, or even might be even nicer to see this. Multiply by uh, 2 over 1, okay, then what will happen is if you multiply by 2 over 1, the 2's cross cancel, 2 into 2 goes once here and here, and you get 1 times x over 1, right, which is just x over 1, right which is x so multiplying by 2 on the left hand side leaves you with x and that's what you want okay but if you multiply by 2 on the left you must also multiply by 2 on the right so you gotta multiply the right hand side by 2 and if you wanna make it look the same you can write this 2 over 1 but that's just to make it look the same you don't have to either write just 2 or write 2 over 1 doesn't matter 2 or 2 over 1 whichever right but in any case, on the right hand side, you have 5 times 2, which is 10. Okay? And let's check that. I started out with x over 2 equals 5. Okay? The original equation was x over 2 equals 5. My answer became 10. I'm going to take that answer and put it back into the original equation. So 10 over 2 equals 5. Does that work? So what number divided by 2 gives 5? The answer is 10, because 10 over 2 is indeed 5. We have 5 equals 5, right? Write this one down. y over 3 equals 4. y over 3 equals 4. Now, actually, why don't you tell me what the answer is? What number divided by 3 gives 4? Do you know what the answer is? What number divided by 3 gives you 4? You can see the y is actually being divided by 3. Is your answer 12? Right. So whatever we do, we should get 12 in the end. So, But please go through, please go ahead and solve this one, one anyway, just so that you get the process down. Because they're not always going to be so obvious. Okay? So, multiply this one by what? See, y is being divided by 3. What's the opposite of dividing by 3. The opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. Or, you could think of it this way, multiplying by 3 over 1. Okay. Now if you multiply the left by 3 over 1, what do you do to the right? To the right hand side you also multiply by 3 over 1. Or 3. Same thing. Right? Now, um, if you, you can think of it this way. You see, y times 3 is 3y. And on the bottom, I have 1 times 3, which is 3. What's 3 yo-yos divided by 3? 3 yo-yos divided equally among 3 children gives. Uh, among 3 children, each child will get 1 yo-yo, 1y, one which is what we want. We want 1y, right? The other way of looking at it is you can cross cancel. 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once. And that gives you 1y over 1, you know, 1y over 1, which is just y over 1, which is just y. Okay? So in any case, we end up with y on the left. Okay? What do you get on the right? 4 times 3 over 1 is the same thing as 4 times 3. You could just write, you don't have to do the 3 over 1, you could just write 3 if you want. But that's 12 on the right. So y equals 12, and you agree that that was the answer from the beginning, right? Because 12 divided by 3 does indeed give 4, right? 
Now let's do this one. You mightn't be able to do this one as easily in your head. A over 5 equals 7 over 10. So what number divided by 5 gives 7 tenths? So to solve this, we need to get the A all by itself. So we have to get A equals something. Okay. A is being divided by 5. A is being divided by 5, right? How do you undo dividing by 5? What's the inverse operation? What's the opposite of dividing by 5? The opposite is multiply by 5, right? Multiply by 5 or 5 over 1, right? And if you multiply the left hand side by 5 over 1, you must also multiply the right hand side by 5 over 1. Okay? And the nice thing about that is on the left, the 5's cross cancel. See that? And you get 1 times a over 1, which is a. What do you get on the right hand side? Simplify the right hand side. 5 and 5 goes once. Did you get that? 5 and 10 goes twice. So a equals 7 times 1, 7 over 2 times 1, 2. 7 over 2. Right? That's an improper fraction. Can you also give that as a mixed number? 2 into 7 goes 3 times remainder 1. So 3 and 1 half. Okay. Very good. So what about this one? It's a negative x over 4 equals negative 20. Okay. Negative x over 4 equals negative 20. So we could take two steps or we could do it all in one step. It's, it's whatever you like. I think you might want to take, well, we could do both ways, but you might want to just do it in maybe one step because multiply this by something to, to get rid of the dividing by 4 part. Okay. So there's two things being done to x. It's being negative. It has a negative on it and it's also being divided by 4. How would you get rid of the dividing by 4 part? Multiply it by what? So what's the opposite of dividing by 4? The opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4, right? Or 4 over 1. Same thing. Now if you do that, the 4's will cross cancel, won't they? So if you multiply by 4, the 4's will cross cancel. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 4 goes once. Okay? And you're left with 1 times x over 1 times 1, which is just x, and of course there's a negative there too, right? So it's a negative x equals. And if you multiply the left by 4 over 1, what do you do to the right hand side? See, so if you multiply the left by 4, you've got to multiply the right by 4 also. 4 or 4 over 1, same thing, right? Okay, so just do it one step at a time. Now on the right hand side, negative 20 times 4 gives what? Negative 20 times 4 is negative 80. Now we have negative x equals negative 80, and we know how to solve this. We know how to solve negative x, don't we? Went over that. Negative x is negative 1x. And to solve that, we divide by what? Negative 1. So divide both sides by negative 1. And we get negative over negative positive x equals negative over negative positive 80. Okay? So that's doing it in one step. We could have also done it, or sorry, that was doing it in two steps. We could also do it in, in a one whole step. But in any case, um, let's go on to this one. Uh, if you do it in one step, by the way, we just multiply by negative 4 on both sides. In fact, let me just show you that just real quick, just so you can see it. Okay, so if you had negative x over 4 equals negative 20, you could also, if you wanted to, multiply both sides by a negative 4 over 1, or negative 4, same thing, right? And you would get the 4s at cross cancel, and you would get negative times negative positive x equals negative times negative positive 20 times 4 80 or x equals 80. 
So we can multiply by 4 over 1 and then divide by negative 1. See that to get 80. Or you can simply multiply both sides by a negative 4. Either way. Um, so write this one down. Negative m over 3 equals 2 thirds. Negative m over 3 equals 2 thirds. What are we going to do to solve this one? So again, you can multiply by the well either a negative three or a positive three, whichever. But if you multiply by positive three, you just have to take two steps. Okay. Any case, let's just multiply by a three over one to get rid of the dividing by three part first, right? So multiply both sides by three over one. See what you get. So if you multiply both sides by 3 over 1, 3 into 3 goes once here and here. And on the left hand side then we have a 1 times a negative m, which is just negative m equals. Don't forget that your negative comes down. Okay. And now on the right hand side, 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once, and what do we have on the right? We have 2. So we have negative m equals 2. Now negative m is the same thing as negative 1m. So to get m by itself we need to divide by what? Negative 1. If you divide the left by negative 1, what do you do to the right? You also got to divide it by negative 1. Okay. So on the left hand side we have so we have negative over negative, which is positive. 1 over 1 is 1m. And on the right hand side, 2 over negative 1 is negative, and 2 over 1 is 2. So we have positive 1m equals negative 2, or m equals negative 2. Same thing, right? And um, if you want, why don't you, if you want to, you could try to, mul to get this by multiplying both sides by negative 3. Do you want to try that? Negative m over 3 equals 2 thirds. So, just see if you want to just see what happens uh, if you multiply by negative 3 over 1 instead of on both sides instead of the positive so we did the positive 3 over 1 what happens if I multiply both sides by a negative 3 over 1 see on the left you get negative times negative which is positive the threes cross cancel so that's a 1 over 1, so positive 1m, right? On the right hand side you get the 3's cross cancel and you've got a basically a 2 times negative 1 which is negative 2 and so you get m equals negative 2 right away, okay? So if you have a negative, you could multiply by the positive 3 or the negative 3, either way would work, right?